In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install Raspbian on a Raspberry Pi without using any keyboard or monitor or um, mouse attached to the Raspberry Pi. First, start by going to the community site for uh, Raspberry Pi. Then go to the download section. In my demo I'll use Raspbian uh, and I'll use the light version, the stretch light. So download the, uh, the version of, of the Raspbian that you want to install. So now my um, download has, has finished and uh, the first thing I have to do is to go and unzip the uh, zip file that I received from raspberrypi.org. Uh, so I'll go to the download section and I'll, I will uh, extract uh, the, the file. So. So now my uh, disk image should be uh, written correctly uh, to the uh, SD card. So I'll exit my Win32 um, disk imager and then I'll open my uh, E drive to see if, if all the files are there. Yeah, they are there. Then I am. Um, I have to use a uh, appropriate uh, program for burning the uh, disk image to the SD card and uh, I'm on a Windows machine so I'll use Win32 disk imager and uh, but before I, I'll start that I have to check where my or what drive letter my uh, SD card has so I'll open uh, my PC and see that my card is in I have drive letter E, so when I open my uh, Win32 disk imager, I'll use that drive letter. So, and it's already selected, and then I'll pick my image. Uh, so, and then I'll, I'll burn it, or write it to the SD card. So now I have booted up my uh, Raspberry Pi with the Raspberry and image that I have put on the SD card. The first thing I, I need to do is I need to find out what IP address my uh, Raspberry Pi have uh, because it is it is getting the IP address from the DHCP server on my uh, on my network. I can if uh, I'm in control of my a router, I can go in there and, and look what IP address is uh, giving to the uh, to the Raspberry Pi. But another way of doing it is is using a program like Advanced IP Scanner. And if you're using that, you can scan your whole network, and uh, then you can see what devices is attached to your network, and and uh, then you are able to see what IP address your a Raspberry Pi has gotten from the DHCP server. So let's see, in my case I have the Raspberry Pi here. It has gotten the address uh, 192.168.1.149. So now I know that I can use some uh, terminal program like for instance PuTTY. Uh, so I'll open PuTTY and I'll enter my uh, Raspberry Pi's IP address and because this is the first time I attach to the um, to the Raspberry Pi I'll get a little warning um, but I'll say that's that's okay and then I'm presented with a login so and uh, I haven't changed anything about the 
the um, user or the uh, or the password. So I'll use the default uh, password and the default um, user. So the user is Pi, and the name is Raspberry. So now I'm logged into my to my new uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, and I'll be able to give commands from uh, this put over the over the Wi-Fi network, uh, and I'll be able to control my my Raspberry Pi. Uh, 